Hi guys, in today's video um, I just have a haul, so I had to run up to my local haul supplies today as I was basically going out of hay and obviously the guinea pigs and rabbits need a lot of hay. So um, yeah, so while I was there I just picked up some bedding because I was like I'm up there anyway so why don't I just go and get some? So the first thing I got was for the dogs and it is a Purina Adventurous Rich in Venison. It's got 85% animal protein, 15% plant proteins. And, yeah, I don't really tend to like Purina. It's not my favourite brand in the world, but, yeah, I just, I didn't really mind these. So I thought, why not get the dogs some treats? Because they don't really get treats very often. And, yeah, these were £2, I think. Then I got the Nature's Menus Original Real Meaty Treats with Chicken. I do like Nature's Menu as a brand. Weirdly, my dogs don't like their dog food, but they do like their treats. So, yeah. I really like these treats. This camera has terrible focus. And these were also £2. Then I got two bags of this. I'm not even going to show you the bag because it's so heavy. I got the Pillow Wad wood shavings. This is kill and dried, just extracted. The kill and dried tends to make them safe. I don't use a lot of wood shavings. I tend to more use them to keep their burrows kind of stable for the hamsters or hamster at the moment. And yeah, the guinea pigs are fine on this too. I have had no issues with this. And yes, so this was, I believe three pound or four pound i think it was more four pound and yeah this is the 3.6 kilogram bag and this is just by pillow wad the next thing i got from pillow wad was two bags of this oh god and this is the pillow wad meadow hay so this is just extracted unchopped natural blend of grasses and herbs aids dental wear and digest and digestive health so when you're looking for hay you do not want to get chopped hay because it just doesn't do nothing for their teeth or their guts or just keeping everything moving this hay is not my favorite to be honest but basically typically when i tend to go to the horse supplies because i either have to go taxi or i have to rely on a family member to drive me they do wrap the hay in like a plastic sheet just to kind of keep it so I don't have to get it all over a taxi and I have to pay or my family members kick off because I've got hail over their cars. And yeah, they had none of my sheeting so I had to buy two bags of this. I don't know whether Fergus will eat this so if he doesn't I'm going to have to try and find him another hay because Fergus is super picky with hay. Everybody else doesn't mind this but Fergus hates it and this was £6.50 for a 3.75 kilogram bag. And yes, this will probably not last very long with all the animals but yeah so that is that and yeah like it's not bad hey like it's just not my favorite so yeah then there's that then over here i have quality pet straw it's basically barley straw and i don't know whether you guys know this i don't know whether i to really update you guys on youtube yet on Instagram. but i've got two rabbits now they i don't know what they're permanent residents so they're basically my sister's rabbit but she's got a new job, so they've come lived with me for a little bit while she's getting the situation sorted because she can take them back. That was over two months ago now, and I've heard nothing back over them. So, so far they're staying with me. And, yeah, they're currently living in a hutch with the whole garden, so they get to free range all day. And then they go and they get locked in the hutch at night. And, yeah, it's just starting to get cold now, and I'm not a huge fan of caging rabbits in small cages overnight. The hutch I, f I feel bad over, but it's two stories, it's five foot not too bad but just to keep them warm they do need straw as straw is a really good insulin so i got this i've used the straw before had no issues and yeah and that i believe was four pounds so it's not a bad price so yeah and then last up i have one of my favorite bedding this is easy bed and i've used this bread thing for a really long time so i'm basically allergic to none of every other type of bedding including my children's bar easy bed so yeah, this is the bedding I've, I found out about from Emma's Little Pet Shed on Instagram and um, I think it's on YouTube, Marley the Palm. It used to be um, Lubu Shed Zoo. She loved this. She has allergies and this has kind of helped her out with her allergies too. But yeah, so I love this bedding. It's 20 kilograms for five for six pound fifty, which for six pound fifty for a twenty kilogram bag of bedding that lasts about a month is not bad. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this haul. Yeah, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.